When you see that moisture detected in USB ports message on your Samsung phone, it can be both alarming and frustrating. The error is designed to protect your device from short-circuiting due to potential moisture in the charging port. While it's a helpful safety feature when genuine moisture is present, it can become an annoying roadblock when triggered falsely. Fortunately, there are multiple ways to address this, both from a software and hardware perspective. In this guide, we'll explore three in-depth solutions. The first solution takes us into the core of Android system management, the USB settings app. Every time you connect your charging cable or transfer data via USB, this background system app processes your action, performs checks, and allows or blocks power or data flow accordingly. Over time, this software layer can accumulate glitches, corrupted cache data, or misconfigurations, especially following a system update or an interrupted charging session. These tiny hiccups can lead to misinterpretation of port status, including the infamous moisture warning. To fix this from the root, we start by accessing the app section of your phone settings. This is your central control room for all installed apps, including system services. By default, only user-installed apps are shown, so we have to dig a little deeper. You'll need to tap the More menu at the top of the apps and enable the Show System Apps option. This reveals hidden components, including the USB Settings app, which often goes by names like USB Settings, USB Services, or USB Connection. Once you find it, head to the Storage section within its settings. Here, you'll notice two options, Clear Cache and Clear Data. Clearing the cache should always be your first move. Think of this as flushing out temporary memory that may be clinging onto outdated or corrupted USB port readings. If the issue persists after clearing cache, then go ahead and clear the app's data. This deeper reset reverts the USB system settings back to their original defaults, potentially eliminating misconfigured flags that falsely trigger moisture detection. After clearing both cache and data, it's vital to restart your phone. This reboot acts as a system-wide reset trigger, ensuring that the USB setting service is reinitialized with a clean slate. Once your device powers back on, connect your charger and observe whether the moisture warning reappears. For many users, this process alone resolves the issue, as it removes any software-level corruption responsible for the persistent alert. However, if the problem still lingers, we move into the second solution, which involves a rather ingenious timing trick that leverages the startup sequence of your Samsung phone. Here's how it works. When you power on your device, there's a short window between the appearance of the Samsung logo and the loading of Android system services. During this phase, only the phone's hardware is active, the software layer, including moisture detection routines, hasn't yet initialized. By inserting the charging cable at the exact moment the Samsung logo disappears, you're attempting to charge the battery directly through the hardware circuit before the software gets a chance to block it. This maneuver requires precision. You need to have your official Samsung charging cable ready, then power off your phone completely. Once it's off, press the power button to turn it on. The instant the Samsung logo vanishes, plug the charger into the USB-C port. If successful, you'll see the battery charging indicator appear. This means you've temporarily bypassed the software-level moisture detection, allowing the device to accept power. Leave it charging for a while. Once the battery regains enough charge, you can reboot your phone normally. In some cases, just having the phone powered and charged for a short period is enough to reset the moisture detection flag entirely. It's important to note, though, that this method might not work on the first try. You may need to repeat the process a few times to get the timing just right. Now, let's discuss the third method, which might seem unconventional but has proven surprisingly effective, charging your Samsung phone via a computer or laptop USB port while the device is powered off. This approach works on the theory that USB ports on laptops deliver power differently than wall adapters. While wall chargers typically deliver higher current, fast charging protocols, computer USB ports offer limited current in a controlled manner. This controlled delivery might avoid triggering the moisture detection algorithm. Some users suggest that this method works because lower power levels cause the USB controller in the phone to initialize differently, essentially under a safe mode for power intake. 
Others speculate that the data handshake between your phone and the computer's USB interface alters the power negotiation protocol, causing the phone to reconsider its port status. To try this, turn off your phone completely. Then connect it to your computer using a USB-C cable. While still connected, turn the phone on. As it boots up, monitor whether the charging indicator appears. If it does, you've successfully bypassed the moisture warning using your computer. Let it continue charging. Eventually, you can attempt switching back to your regular wall charger and see if the error has disappeared. Some phones have moisture sensors embedded directly within the USB-C port. These sensors detect conductivity caused by water or debris bridging the metal pins inside the port. If moisture is actually present, it's crucial that you first dry your phone before trying any method. Use a soft cloth to gently pat the port dry. Avoid using compressed air, as it can force moisture deeper into the device. Placing the phone in a bowl of dry, uncooked rice or silica packets for a few hours can also help absorb residual moisture. You might also want to inspect your charging cable. Cables can deteriorate, get damaged, or become dirty over time. A faulty cable can confuse your phone's internal circuitry and mimic the behavior of a damp port. Try using a different, preferably official, Samsung charging cable and adapter to rule out accessory-related causes. In the event that none of these methods resolve the issue and your phone remains non-chargeable, consider using wireless charging as a temporary solution. Samsung phones typically support Qi wireless charging, which completely bypasses the USB-C port. You can purchase an affordable wireless charger to keep your phone running while you investigate further. There are also some preventative measures you can take to avoid this issue in the future. Avoid charging your phone in high humidity environments like bathrooms right after a shower. Water vapor can easily condense inside your USB-C port, even if you didn't physically drop the device into water. Regularly clean your charging port with a soft brush or a non-metallic toothpick to remove lint or debris that might trap moisture. In rare cases, the persistent warning may stem from hardware damage. This could happen if your phone previously had water exposure or if the USB port has worn out over time due to frequent plugging and unplugging. If you've exhausted all troubleshooting options and the issue persists for weeks, you might need to visit a Samsung service center. But so far, they work. I truly hope this video helped you regain control of your phone's charging capabilities. Subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you never miss another helpful tech tutorial.